Yo guys, welcome to Shine Gaming. I finally finished making Summoner's Rift on the Far Cry 4 map editor. And today I'm going to be showing you guys basically what this map entails. Basically you start off at the end here and I'll do a playthrough of this map after this video goes up. And basically this is mid lane, there's kind of like the minions here. They're really weak uh, how I've done it. So you know, you kind of start with really weak people. And basically we'll get to Baron later, but I kind of made it so that you, you kind of have to go this way. Well you don't really have to, you can do it however you want, which is the beauty of the map. But um, you can go through the bushes on the mid lane here, you know, oh wait, we don't want to go there. Uh, and by the way, I've got, I've paid attention to quite a lot of detail. There is actually a waterfall there on Summoner's Rift, like a really small one, if you want to look it out. And look, I mean, check it out. And then there's like the Rift Scuttler, this guy who basically give you a weapon, because uh, this guy will have a gun, basically. And uh, yeah, so you can move down here, and then you've got the different camps. And in each camp, there's like, uh, wait, where is it? There's like... Uh, green plant which you can get and creates a health potion so you can heal up after you kill each camp and obviously you can take their weapons there's always an ammo box and one different type of plant that isn't a health one so like you can unlock some stuff but anyway red buff it will ma all make a bit more sense we've got three molotov cocktail guys so obviously you know flames because it's red buff and you're probably thinking well the red drake is flames actually and you're right and we'll get to that in a bit but because it's the red buff there's like the red plants you can take and i think they give you damage resistance or more damage i can't remember exactly how the potions go but you also get models of cocktails as a reward and another health tree uh, because it's like a bigger buff i mean it's a buff in the jungle not just a camp you'll get two health uh, plants instead and then where are we right now wait i always get lost when you're looking at summoner's rift in 3d uh, and then the golem. Now the golem, as you might expect if you play Far Cry, is going to have a heavy guy because you know. And then another guy who's short range, shotgun. You get body armor for this. And there's a reason. There's another one. So in case later on in the map you feel like you need more armor before you take on the base over there that we will get to soon. Okay, we'll go through the turrets soon. But this is like another bush. It's just really funny because every time I go into actual game in League, I actually think, oh wait, I've been there in first person and. It actually feels really strange, but it's pretty cool. And then you've got the tri-bush here, you know. It's, it's really nice that, yeah, it's just very nice and calm, you know, safe. And then you've got the bush there. Um, for the boundaries, I mean, that's just the end of the map. But I kind of just walled it off halfway so that, you know, uh, there's there's a limit. It's not like double side of the map because that would just be too long. And there's some secrets in this map, actually. You you I won't mention them. You'll kind of just notice them when I'm zooming around the map and stuff. And yeah, if you guys find out all the secrets, let me know in the comments, because that'll be pretty cool. And hey, the lighting attention. If you look on Summoner's Rift, there's actually these little lights everywhere. Um, they're on the side here as well. And uh, there's loads of them, actually. Um, they're all over the place, exactly where they are on Summoner's Rift. So, you know, hope you appreciate the detail. And I know you're like, Shine, take us through the bloody turrets. I want to see what the turrets are. Hey, we're saving best, well, we're getting better as we get to the end, you know, best to last sort of thing. Then we've got the wolves, as you expect, normal stuff. Then you've got the golem, just one heavy. And um, blue buff, now this is kind of a big buff because, okay, wow, that's bloody loud. These are the Rakshasa guys, so they don't actually look like that. That's torches in a very weird position. But um, it's Raksh one of each Rakshasa, Rakshasa, I can't pronounce it, forgive me. And then for the rewards, you get blue buffs and you get a lot of ammo because we ex kind of, well, I kind of expect you to take on Baron next, which is over there. But before we get to Baron, let's go through the Drake. So the Drake, uh, you're probably wondering what is this. This is actually like a little, I can't remember, is it a tower or... Uh, it's something on the map, I think. But we've got this to signal the Infernal Drake, you know. And that's actually a toilet in Far Cry, which is hilarious. Um, that's, you know, the top side, well, the bot jungle of the right-hand side that you can't access. And this is basically Drake, a flamethrower guy. So that's pretty cool. And then he's got two... Uh, kind of tougher guards with him and you could kind of draw them there and explode that but that's very tough because they have to literally stand there right next to you for a while while you move away and then I mean yeah it's probably not realistic but hey you can just you can shoot it when you finish the flamethrower guy so you know and then as expected a red plant and some other plants and ammo and in case something happens there's a glitch and the flamethrower goes you can just pick up a new one uh, there really shouldn't be a glitch and you know what, we'll go through the turrets before we get to Baron because it's kind of like the order to do it in. Well, not really, but wow, that's a really loud waterfall. But you know, bot lane waterfall. So we've got another minions. We Each lane basically has two of these minions, just knives. They don't really have any weapons. And then the turrets all have two, I think it's two snipers. 
One's is one and more advanced sniper. No, they're the same. All right, we got two snipers and one kind of like commando guard who's basically tougher to kill. And each turret will have this. And yeah, these are the turrets, and they have like laser pointers pointing at you. So when that's in your face, you're probably gonna get shot. And I'll be honest, this is actually a really tough map. Um, I have finished it once, <laughs> but there is a weird thing that goes on. But I'll explain it later. Let's go to the Baron now. Um, just just so you guys can see, just other turrets. And yeah, actually, there's a lot of stuff in this map that I want to show you guys. But we're just gonna wait for when it, the time comes for it. Uh, this is top lane. Okay, top lane doesn't have minions. I f I don't know sure why. I think there wasn't enough budget, like uh, AI budget or something. So now we go to the Baron, which is kind of insane. Um, uh, yeah, basically there's a commando guy there, a well heavy guy, a r RPG guy who's kind of like the Baron's big splash damage, and then you got a sniper as well and another heavy machine guy. Heavy machine guy, machine gun guy, and yeah, this is a very tough one to do. But you get a big reward, pretty much one of each plant, I think. You get RPG, LMG, another type of RPG, and body armor, uh, ammo. I think you get, yeah, loads more health packs, body armor. And yeah, this is basically to prepare you for the base, when you go f to invade the base. Now let me show you guys one of the secrets. There's plenty more, but over here, once you kill this mid lane turret, at some point here when you're standing here you can hook onto one of these and then you kind of have to hook onto these ones it's actually really tough to get the right angle for it to actually work but it does work I have done it and then you land here and there's loads of plants here on this like treetop and you've got a nice view of the base that you can snipe people from but hey what if you don't have a sniper well there's a nice little bridge here that you can jump onto uh, I just realized once you jump on this you can't really get down huh I'm trying to remember, no, I'm pretty sure jumping down that will kill you. Okay, I have to figure that out before I publish this map live. But there's a sniper at the end, so you can come here and take people out, you know, take them out for dinner or whatever nice things you want to do. So let's start with, actually, you know what, let's start with the mid lane. Mid lane's kind of crazy. Uh, so each of the base turrets will have a heavy guy there. Uh, I think it's RPG guy and a sniper guy, so we're kind of making it a bit tougher now. Uh, there used to be more AI, but uh, budget constraints. And actually, forget the inhib for now. And then, yeah, pretty much the same thing. Same with top uh, top lane there. Then each inhib will have one of these turrets. Uh, and I think it's four people. There will always be a sniper. There will be one of these alarm things on each inhib that you can take out to get more points. I, f I mean, I'm pretty sure you get more points. And yeah, in each house, you get these guys, basically, and some body armor. I'm not sure if I put body armor in each of them, but yeah, anyway. And this is like the rock, you know, the typical rock you see on the map. And there's a secret little ammo stash there that you can take. Uh, well, it was secret until I just told you about it. I wasn't meant to tell you about it, but anyway. Uh, then yeah, kind of like different style buildings to get some nice variety up. And here is top lane. Uh, yeah, top lane is pretty 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 actually it's, it's just pretty you know and we've got the marks that you get you can only have four textures I think which kind of sucks so I had like the sandy one the rocky one uh, grass and the mountain one and wait I had snow as well okay maybe five no I don't think oh grass is an actual texture I don't think so yeah four with the snow as well uh, I wish you could have more but Far Cry 5 will have a lot more I think and now we're getting to the base, you know. These are the Nexus turrets. This is going to be a very tough one. A heavy guy, commando guy, heavy guy, commando guy, heavy guy. And then the same layout there for both turrets. And then you have to basically zip wire, I mean grapple hook, come up here. There's one guy there, one guy there. Some more people. I don't know why I'm telling you where everyone is. But I want to let everyone know about this, the Pagan Men at the very top. He's kind of like the last guy to kill. Uh, in case you're doing the map and you like, wait, where's this last guy? I can't find him. Because I doubt he's going to jump off and he'll probably just kill himself. So he's probably going to stay there. You're probably going to have to take an RPG and shoot him from underneath. That does work. I'm pretty sure it works if you shoot him from RPG. From RPG. Wow, I really can't talk. And then this is kind of like a house to represent where people spawn enemy champions. Uh, when the alarms go off, if you don't turn them off, then two more heavies will spawn. 
but that's just there because the map needs you to have it. And then there's a mortar guy here to really frustrate you. And now we go to the shop. Oh yeah. Now obviously you've probably killed everyone by the time you come to the shop, so there's no point of there being a shop. But just loads of goodies here. And you know what? I might as well tell you guys about this. At the very end, there's a little secret. There's a gyro a gyrocopter, gyrocopter, probably gyrocopter that you can take. Oh boy, it's not even on the ground. All right, but yeah, this is like the fountain. You know, it's pretty damn cool when you got some nice mountain views when you're there. And yeah, if you take the gyrocopter, you can uh, go and find some uh, secrets. You know, um, where could the secrets be? I wonder. I wonder where the secrets could be. This is all I am showing you where the secrets could potentially be. Yes, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a playthrough of this map and oh yeah, I should actually tell you what the problem was. If anyone has solutions for this, it would be really great. But as soon as you start and shoot, the whole bloody map starts coming towards you. Pretty much, that's kind of scary, right? Uh, these guys will start walking towards you. Uh, the dragon guys will come towards you. Well, it's not its not that they come immediately, but once you get a bit closer, like once you take out this guy, then I think these guys and these guys get alerted and they start making their way towards you. And I'm not sure how to fix it. It's kind of annoying. I wanted to put a fence around them so that they stay where they are. But then when you even when you put a fence that's completely see-through, they can't see you unless you shoot at them and then they like miss or something. It's really weird. But uh, yeah, I'm just trying to think. Is there anything else? Bot lane, uh, bot lane bushes, you know, very fun, and, uh, yeah, is, is that it? Is that it? I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but when you start, you basically start here. But yeah, you got two weapons you can pick there, some ammos, I'll just, yeah, there's a bow and a pistol, and then you got all of this here, and then like a little gateway, or you can take a quad bike. I might put more quad bikes because the RPG guys could just blow it up, then you have to walk everywhere. But you know what, it's a nice walk, it's a very nice route. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy living the first person view of Summoner's Rift. It is pretty cool, and it was a really fun map to make. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and well, looking forward to Far Cry 5 actually. I'm planning on making quite a bit of videos with it, it's something that I just really enjoy Far Cry, and yeah. Uh, yeah, subscribe for future videos, awesome content, and yeah, thanks for watching, adios.